Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next visit on our tour of excellence is Northeast Wisconsin Technical College with campuses in Green Bay, Sturgeon Bay, and Marinette, as well as several smaller facilities throughout the region. We started in Marinette, about 60 miles northeast of Green Bay, near the Michigan border, with Megan Miller, a 29-year-old single mother of three, studying electrical mechanical technology. My middle kid looked me in the face and goes, I don't have to go to college because you didn't go to college, and I didn't like that very much, yeah. so... I decided now to come back. Now? Uh, now he's going to go to college to be a cop. When you started this program, did you know you were going to be, I mean, what kind of job are you going to get when you get graduated? When I walked into NWTC the first time, I was like, I don't really know what I want to do, yeah. but I'm interested in the trades and fixing stuff because I have the tendency to break a lot of stuff. <laughs> and and being a three kids, single so. mom, yes, I was like, I'd like to know how to fix, fix things. Right. So they're like, well, the electromechanical program is kind of like the jack of all traits. You get a little bit of welding, a little bit of machining, mm -hmm. the electrical diagrams, all of it. From electrical mechanical, we moved over to the auto maintenance lab with instructor Wally Remick. My students leave here with a technical diploma after nine months or they can, wow. they can go to Green Bay or our local employers have really asked that they come out of here and go right to work because okay. they need entry level technicians and that's really what we're, what we're working on training here. I always say there's, there's education and everything that's broken, right? Um, <laughs> oh my God, so, I love that. <laughs> I wish I could tell my dad that. <laughs> right. In addition to his regular duties, Wally started a program in 2018 called Operation Car Care to help local veterans and their families with car maintenance while the veteran is deployed overseas. Three of my friends that I graduated high school with, that I kept in contact with, um, they were all in the reserves, mm -hmm. so they ended up going to Afghanistan. I was laying in bed one night and I woke up and I told my wife, I'm like, hey, we're gonna fix their cars. I talked to local businesses, they started donating money. To date, we've raised over $27,000. Wow. We've given over $22,000 back. Um, and all of it is in, we do it either right here through curriculum and through student stuff. I'll do stuff at home over the summer, I call it professional development. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's, it's for veterans, it's for actively deployed people, and there is no labor cost to this at all. It is all just parts. So, and so they, you fix their cars while they're deployed, and yep. so their families can have a, a way of getting around. Yeah, so right? It's just incredible. You know, and, I mean, and did, were you uh, required to do this? No. Uh, did you get paid extra no. for doing it? <laughs> no. <laughs> the students get the benefit of learning and working on an actual broken car. Um, the families get the benefit of getting their car fixed. Um, we all get to feel good at the end when we shake their hand and say, hey, thank you for your service. Yep. We wish we could do more. This is, you know, And your students back. know what, they're do what the, the cars are that they're working on. Absolutely. So they also are, are learning about. Learning about giving civic back. Civic responsibility yep. and Community giving Community involvement, yep. It's just awesome, man. Next door to the auto shop, 19-year-old Zachary Shoup is working on TIG welding for his metal fabrication project. Zach was one that started off with um, the part-time track and he's finishing up. He'll graduate in May also. So. Nice. We have a lot of students going that avenue and all. Will it be a, a long and arduous process for them to find a job once they no. graduate? No. If I had 100 students, I could put them all to work tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they get phone calls constantly looking for welders. Nice. Yep. So there's a lot of opportunities in the area right now. Lots. This lab specifically works on pipe fitting. And what are those pipes? Where are they going to end up? All over the ship. I'll Did let... you just say ship? Yes. As in battleship? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so that's, that's what this place is about. Yes, absolutely. Shipbuilding. Yes. A couple of miles away from the Marinette campus, along the Menominee River, is the North Coast Marine Manufacturing Training Center, where NWTC works with employers like shipbuilder Fink and Terry to train new hires, as well as upskill longtime employees in areas like pipe fitting, welding, and project management. One of the projects we have do is we would set up a situation like this where it's somewhat restricted, just like inside the ship. Right. So before we just put their feet to the fire, they have a chance to get an idea of what it's gonna be like 
and grow some tools that is going to help them be successful. Metals instructor Aaron Staskowitz taught me the proper technique for cutting copper pipe in order to fit it into place. We're just going to stick that in one end and then you're going to line it up with the other end and stick it in. And now we get to stand back at and look and go, wow, you did that. <laughs> You want to get the wire right down where you want it with your hood up without pulling the trigger and then you can you can flip the hood down. There you go. And I'm ready when you're ready. Yep, now you're going to start moving. There you go. A little slower, a little slower. Let that metal spread. There you go. After pipe fitting, I got to try flux core welding with the help of Jordan Feet. You're a natural. I think we might have found you a new career. Thank you so much. Good job. From North Coast, we went to the Green Bay campus to spend time in the Health Sciences Department, learning about surgical technology. I'll reach around and I'll tighten it up for you. As well as getting to use the augmented and virtual reality training tools. This is a great opportunity for students to practice in a safe space and potentially uh, get an opportunity to see something that they wouldn't see in a clinical environment. For the last stop on the tour, I visited medical sonography. So go ahead and put your transducer right on her skin. Where the students and the instructor showed me how to perform an ultrasound. While doing so, it reminded me of why I'm doing this tour of excellence and why it's important to showcase our colleges and what we have to offer. There are so many amazing ways to work in this country and we don't really get the opportunity to see many of them. I mean, I don't remember having a coloring book about somebody who spent their, their work day looking inside a human body. It's just incredible. It's really beautiful. Thank you very much. You have a very nice tummy. This is over 80% penetrated. This would pass the fillet weld test. Passed. I passed! <laughs> <laughs>